Um, so here is Grade Saver, okay, which some of you may have encountered from, you know, just random usages of it online. Um, I wanted to take a little bit of time to just sort of show you some features of this text. The very first thing that I might notice is the fact that there are ads everywhere, okay? It makes it very challenging for me to read, okay? Um, so that also leads me to be suspicious about the goals of this website, okay? Um, what are the goals of this website? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sold <laughs> that this is going to be a great place for me to go and get materials, right? Because it's, it's focused not on the text, it's focused on commerce, okay? Um, so that's one of the very first things I might, I might observe. There is this, this, this text here, right? The Poems of William Blake, a study guide, okay? My first question with this is who wrote it, okay? Who wrote it? Where did it come from? Um, can I find that information out? Let me see. Uh, I, I don't think so. Let me see if there's this about. That, this is the about page. Let me see. If I click on this. No, nope, that's that's the about page. It's the study guide. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who wrote this. Um, there's a navigation page, navigation um, uh, outline here on the left hand side that has uh, lots of ways to navigate through the text. Um, it's got some quizzes down here, some other information about things like capitalization. That's kind of interesting, you know. Um, a lot of odd capitalization. Um, okay, so you know, I, you know, I'm I'm not sure about this, right? About this interpretation at, at all. There's no sourcing here. I don't know who wrote this. I, I'm skeptical of this. Okay, especially since I know that um, it, it might be true that Blake had, um, you know, interesting. Uh, th that Blake had interests in this idea of giving abstract qualities, right, um, to particular things. I think that's pretty clear in his writing. Um, but I don't know what this classicist means, right? And I also know that throughout the 18th century, as we've seen in, say, the Walpole text, that capitalization just looks different, right, in earlier time periods. And it comes from English being a Germanic language, right, um, where capital, the nouns were all capitalized. So I'm definitely not sure of the accuracy of this. Um, okay, it's got some quizzes. All right, let me see if I can find the poems themselves. Okay, here's the poems. This is still a summary. Okay, where are the poems themselves? Um, because I want to be able to read it myself. Okay, um, I mean, I guess maybe this. Let's see if this is it. Still a summary. Okay, where are the poems themselves? Um, You know, I'm not sure I can find it, right? Where <laughs> I feel like I saw them before. Here's another navigation um, feature. This is just the same as the thing on the, the left hand side. Okay. Um, the poem summary. I don't I don't want the poem summary though. I want the whole thing. So all right, I think I got out of something. Um See, this is also not capitalized, right, as it should be. So, uh, okay, I'm, I'm kind of done with this one. I'm not sure what's going on with this one. I'm really distracted by the grades, I, by, sorry, by the, um, by the ads. I, I can't really vouch for the accuracy of these, um, these synopses or the information that's provided. I don't know who wrote it. Um, I don't know who put it up here. Uh, I can't find the poems either. Um, I... It keeps foregrounding the summary, and I just want the poems themselves. So, um, so those are just some observations about how I might read this digital version.